basically fake cancer so that, you know, I, I could kill myself with it looking like a coming nurse admits that she spent years fooling people into think that she was dying of cancer, collecting thousands of dollars in donations. Well, the Fox 5 I team originally broke the story of Mary Bennett. Well, she pleaded guilty today to theft and forgery, and Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis was there. Yes, and uh, Russell Bennett told the court she started faking her cancer diagnosis in 2013. According to her, the lie was all part of a plan to ultimately take her own life because she was allegedly molested as a child. But the money part, she said, got way out of hand. It wasn't about the money. Um, it was about my mental Ill illness. In a case that saddens so many in Forsyth County, Mary Bennett has revealed her reason why. Childhood sex abuse had left her suicide. $1,000 for a woman dying of brain cancer. Just one problem. That group now believes it may have been a hoax. And Vikings fans are not the only ones being targeted. Tom Lydon's been working on this story all day. And Tom, how was she able to convince people that she actually had brain cancer? Yeah, you know what? She really didn't have to convince them. They just took her at her word. And you can see how it could happen. It's Absolutely. so easy. You know, it was two years ago that she contacted the Viking superfan group called Viking World Order. She told them she had terminal brain cancer. They do a lot of charity work, and they wanted to help. But now they believe they fell for a con artist who preyed on their kind hearts. There she was on draft day, hoisted above the fans, even making it into the Star Tribune. She had front row seats for the Green Bay game, field access too, of course, because Margaret Jean Brezina had terminal brain cancer. Did you actually end up doing any fundraising for her? Oh, man, did we ever. Or at least that's the story she told the super fan group, Viking World Order. They set up a GoFundMe page, sold jerseys in her name, raised more than $20,000. Because I didn't want to make that decision to say, hey, this lady's faking. I'm going to just believe a total stranger. But in hindsight, I wish I would have. And when David Garza eventually asked for proof, she texted him a brain scan with a picture cropped from Google Images. Oh, you just messed up. Margie Brezina is an Edina High School grad now living in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. She has a rap sheet in both states for theft and fraud and a half dozen aliases. She's allegedly told the same story to Miami Dolphin fans. And Pittsburgh fans recently sent out this notice calling her a scam artist. What is her issue, do you think, truly? What, what, what's... I... Uh, she, she doesn't have a job. She has no income. Melinda Mossberg is a former friend in Florida and a diehard Vikings fan who finally blew the whistle. Is how do you prove someone doesn't have cancer? And who wants to be the villain to say she doesn't have cancer? Uh, and I felt really used and taken. Joe Lamont took her to that Green Bay game, even loaned her money, and began to wonder why she never took medication, why she drank so much. The walls of... Uh... Uh, belief started crashing down. The lady turned out to be a pretty mean person. She threatened to sue the people who gave her money. And yet, in the truest test of their charity, they say they would do it again, just maybe more wisely. We're never going to give up our mission to help people and be a charity organization. Um, we're just, I guess, going to have to just do a little more due diligence on situations, unfortunately, because of what we went through. But we're never going to stop helping people. We tried in vain to contact Margie Brezina today, left messages on her numbers in Florida. She's taken down her social media profile. We even reached out to family members here in Minnesota, but never heard back. We should point out the Vikings have nothing to do with this fan group, and they told us they were unaware of this whole issue until we brought it to their attention. was faking cancer. It gets worse. She even set up a fake charity and used the money to take vacations. A lot of vacations. Here's News 13's Amanda Goodman. Jess Dick, Elizabeth Bateman had everyone fooled. Even her friends and family thought she was dying of cancer. Elizabeth Bateman makes a compelling case. In this video and in postings on her own blog, the 34-year-old from Los Alamos says she has terminal cancer. She said that she wanted to start an organization that helps young adults and then you can see the cancer of the brain. And all of the friends she created the friends that were a single fundraising that the Colorado where they had to lose 7,000 dollars and the people believed it and the donations were tremendous. In a program, they only had 7,000 dollars. 
y así sucesivamente tenían todas Go For Me tenían todas donaciones de gente que la adoraban porque ay, la pobre tenían eh, tenían problemas de cáncer y, y todo era mentira todo era mentira este es otro, le estoy poniendo varios casos diferentes arrestadas, todos han sido arrestadas aquí se hacía pasar por acostada, enferma, se ponían gomas Tenían amigas enfermeras que les hacía pasar por esa. Inventaban papeles que no existían realmente en ningún récord en ningún hospital. Esto es increíble. Mira la cara, cualquiera piensa que está enferma. Miren esto, como se pintaba la frente y todo lo que creían que estaba muy mal. She even had a friend take her from Colorado to Chimayo. She wanted to go to get this sacred dirt so she could be healed. Bateman's con unraveled in March. She was sick and a friend took her to the hospital where she claimed she was getting her cancer treatment. But doctors said she'd never been treated there for cancer. She bolted and moved to Albuquerque. She's already in New Mexico. Like dijo que nunca por cancer. Them and telling them God knows what. Now, Bateman turned herself into Colorado police this morning. She is facing theft charges. According to friends, there have been fundraisers for her here in New Mexico. Back to you. Okay, Amanda, she's also accused of pulling the fake cancer scam in Texas. We found she just signed up for a singles website in Albuquerque a month ago. Her profile doesn't mention anything about cancer, and she's wearing a wig. No, oh. this is other caso. Otro caso de fake cancer. Faking brain cancer. Todo era un fake, no tenía nada. La policía cogió a un falsante que se hacía pasar porque tenía cáncer para tener miles y miles de dólares. En la nación. Estos facen charges que incluyen larceny y larceny por defraudar a una comunidad pública. Irónico, considerando que la comunidad se rallied around him. Por ejemplo, su high school alma mater en Wallingford, held a fundraiser en su honor after people there got wind, he was claiming to have been diagnosed with cáncer. It makes people have to wonder, well, you know, what's true and what's not true. And it's just, it makes it very hard for those who really, really need the help. Neighbors of 29-year-old Tyler William yeah, Conner yeah. at Wallingford are angry after learning he'd been pretending to be afflicted with terminal brain cancer. If he did it, he ought to um, um, face whatever he should get. Tomer is accused of using an illness he didn't have to defraud well-intentioned donors out of more than $22,000. Also, he could line his own pockets. Wallingford police say they were tipped off that Tomer was making up being sick after one of his relatives raised their suspicions to them. He played it up very well. He would attend, uh, go down to Sloan Kettering. He'd bring people with him. Esto de hacer esto, de... Just never... Hacer creer a miles y miles de personas que son después seguidores, fieles y donan mucho dinero. Esto es un gran eh, delito aquí en los Estados Unidos. Y yo creo que en cualquier parte, al final terminan en una cárcel. Al final terminan en una cárcel. Porque con eso no se juega. Además con, la, con los sentimientos, con el corazón de las personas. Y miles y miles de personas y de casos, aquí le estoy poniendo casos en Estados Unidos porque eh, hay miles hay miles y el problema es que con todo el dinero que le donaban se daban después de tremendas vidas se iban grandes vacaciones se iban de bebedera, de tomadera, de rumba de todo lo que, como que lo digan y se compraban todo lo que les daba la gana todo era una infamia y una mentira Fake cancer. Le estoy explicando a las personas que pues no hablan inglés para que entiendan de qué se trata esto. Le puse varios casos aquí hoy para que realmente sepan toda la cantidad de personas que hay miles y miles y miles y miles y miles y miles aquí y alrededor del mundo. Que, hace, que se hacen pasar que tienen cáncer, esta enfermedad tan terrible que sí se ha llevado a tantas personas, a tantas personas, 
Y estas personas sin dignidad pues hacen creer eso a muchos de sus seguidores. Y esto es muy triste. Y bueno, yo voy a seguir poniendo videos cada rato sobre este tema porque es un tema escabroso, sinceramente. Algunos casos han pasado hace seis meses, otros dos años, otros tres. Al final, a ocho años, tres años, dos años, cuatro. Al final son descubiertos y terminan donde tienen que terminar, en una prisión federal, porque eso es un delito grande federal. Denme sus opiniones, amigas y amigos, y díganme qué ustedes creen de todo esto. Sigan, síganme, pónganle su like, apriete la campanita para que siga recibiendo mis notificaciones. Y si les gusta mi canal, con mucho gusto, yo les doy la bienvenida. Suscríbase. Un abrazo.